Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing very well. So if I look a little bit different, that is because I now have a ring light, um, which I'm using as my light. So I wanted to kind of get away from the whole use, like depending on like natural light and the lights wherever I am and not really doing a great job. So I did the whole YouTuber thing and I got a ring light. Um, it arrived today, so I thought today would be the perfect time to just give it a go. Um, I just got it on Amazon and it was like £30 with delivery, so pretty standard. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to put on like a full face of makeup. I've got one or two new products here and there. Um, that I wanted to try out so I thought yeah let's just give it a go so I'm starting off with my primer so my elf primer of course um so I'm hoping that this ring light is gonna kind of show you guys more of my kind of <laughs> imperfections as it is not that I would want to kind of show those to anyone but when you're being like realistic on YouTube because a lot of the times everything is kind of fabricated or kind of made a little bit it's not what it is um I mean, not that I've ever done that because I've only been doing YouTube for, what, six months now. So I haven't done like, oh, here's like recreating this or doing this. So and I only ever just phone and um, I record on my phone. So I have no means of like editing um, and like the lighting and everything that's backwards. So one day when I gain the confidence to kind of turn the phone around and do it this way, um, then we'll see we'll see how that goes but for the moment i think the next best step for me was to get this ring light um next i'm going in with the lasting perfection foundation and even noticing that's got the security tag on it um even like noticing now when i'm showing you guys products um it looks so much different um and that's what i want i want things to look better um just for my videos basically so i'm hoping it will be more beneficial on that end um, <clears throat> I don't know if that means my videos will get any better because, you know, it's quality over quantity, I guess, but I'm loving, I'm still loving every opportunity I get to like film a video for you guys and I'm getting the views that I'm really happy with at the moment because I'm stuck on 57 subscribers, which is awesome in that aspect. So I'm really happy that I have any <laughs> in the first place. Um, so yeah, thank you to those who have subscribed, those who want to subscribe, don't be afraid, you know, I, I won't, I won't bite, <laughs> but no, I really appreciate everyone who leaves me a like and, you know, always subscribe and just being really kind because, you know, we all need like some kindness at the moment, a bit of happiness and, you know, doing this like kind of part-time with my full-time job as well. I mean, this is not really a job for me yet it's more of a massive hobby um and I thought I wanted to take advantage and get the ring light because I just you know want things to get better in that aspect um yeah so this foundation is making me look even more like a ghost <laughs> it's so strange when you look in in the bottle it looks like in, in an actual kind of like tanned color but I think that might just be the glass bottle that's hiding it um but yeah i've kind of realized i don't have a setting powder so we're just gonna carry on um without it so let's go in with the blush next i'm using my chocolate and strawberry truffle from um bh cosmetics i've only ever used this once on my channel and i love it um still smells nice i just got it on my face that's all right um and we're gonna go in with, I might try a different one because I tried this one last time. So let's go in with this one just here. It's a nice little, little shimmer. So it's nice and kind of subtle. And oh yeah, it smells, still smells very nice. And kind of what I want to kind of achieve with the light as well. I keep on talking about it like it's my favorite thing right now. But um, I just wanna make things look more natural in that aspect like I said I don't edit my videos I don't ever do like any filters so what you see is what you get sadly <laughs> when it comes to um <clears throat> my face I don't know what is wrong with my voice recently I'm always like like I'm going through some kind of puberty because I'm just croaking all the time I don't know what is wrong with me um I'll get that sorted um I'm going in with a highlighter next which is um the XX Revolution I've only used this once I was going to use it in one of my last videos, but I forgot to bring it with me, like bring it to the filming section. 
Um, <clears throat> this is in the shade um, Disclosure. And I've only, like I said, I've only used this once, which was on my XX Revolution review video. And yeah, it's kind of, this one isn't like my favourite, but I think it's like growing on me. Um, because I'm just <laughs> tapping in the wrong place. Because um, I think it's it's very buildable, but for me, I like that um, highlighters that kind of just just do the job, and you don't have to build it up like the Ofra one um, and a lot of the other Revolution ones. Like they're just so much better, um, <clears throat> and you can see it like from the side and everything is looking very cute. And yeah, I really uh, yeah XX Revolution stuff is is decent. Um, I tried the eyeliner in one of my last videos and it didn't go very well because it just was not very good but check out my last video that's what it was about um and when it comes to the eyes i'm trying um the body shop i've got some products from work which is very nice um the body shop kindly gifted the organization i work for some um body shop gifts and there was some makeup in it and i thought let's try it in this video so i've got the down to earth eye palette i've never tried any body shop makeup before um and i'm very intrigued because the color selection <laughs> is kind of just a bit random so you've got like a gray shimmer gray you've got like um yeah a gray a shimmer gray a black and a dark blue so i'm just gonna see what happens what kind of look i'm gonna do i'm also gonna be trying um my la splash brushes that i got in my glossy box so i'm gonna give those a go today even though one of them is a winged liner brush and i never use um winged liner brushes but i'll see if i can use it for um like a corner shade or something so let's see what i can do because i haven't bought any other palette with me because i want to see what i can achieve with this um so I'm going to go in with this grey shade first, which is essentially the non-shimmer one. Um, let's try another brush first. Okay. So yeah, it picks up a bit of product, not a lot of fallout, which is quite good. I'm going to make this my transition shade because I want the, essentially like the dark blue to be the main colour, but you can see that grey like straight away. So it is quite pigmented. And it is, it's shimmery. I mean, in the actual pan, you can't see that it's a shimmer. So what I should have done was swatched it, but it's no big deal. I want to just get that on the lid to set it down. And yeah, you can see like, it's just nice, it's nice grey. And let's go in with the LA Splash brush. This is the setting brush. It's going to set something in, but let's... um. Let's give the blue a go. There's no names. I don't think there are, no. Oh, sorry, there is. Um, the the grey is called um, Scandinavia Cis Steel. Scandinavia Cis Steel. I can't even say it. It's like a tongue twister. And then the next shade, the blue one, is a California Lapis. Lapis. Sure. Right, let's go in with the dark blue. I hope it's dark blue. Right, let's set this in the corner. Oh yeah, that's nice. You can see like, it's doing quite well. Just tapping it slightly so I'm not going too overboard with the shade because it is quite pigmented. Okay, and tidy it up a bit. It's looking nice. No fallout at all. Quite surprised. In a nice way. <laughs> In a horrible way. I'm going to save the corner for probably that shimmer at the bottom. So let's get this on to the other side. I have an eyeliner to try today. So I want to maybe not go too overboard with the dark shades on the corner. Otherwise you won't see it. <laughs> right. How's it looking? Nice. You can see my ugly mug nice and clearly now. Very nice. Okay, this one's a bit higher, so <laughs> let's just do that a little bit. Oh dear. The more I kind of put more product on, the higher it's getting. It's all right. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to take this grey shimmer with a flat brush to see how it works. 
and that shade is called Australia Quartz and let's get this in the corner this one's quite similar to the other shade but it's it's nice and pigmented I like this palette I'm very surprised no offense to body shop but I've never really used their makeup before um, I use their kind of shower stuff which is great I like those but with the makeup I've always been a little bit unsure but um, this palette is quite nice pretty good I'm not sure how much it is in store I should probably check that out sorry um, it's gonna take a little bit of the other blue and just blend it in yeah it's looking nice it's looking good I'm gonna bring out a bit here just so it's matching okay all right well this is a nice palette I'm very surprised next time I want to do kind of and like another like darker kind of look I will definitely go into this palette so let's have a closer look and yeah I've just used like three of the four shades um yeah it's it's very nice I don't really have any complaints um the black I won't use today just because it'll probably make the look a bit too much um and even on the back of the packaging it tells you like different looks that you can do so maybe next time I'll try and follow one of those but next I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty eyeliner so I got this in my glossy box which I was very happy about because it's Huda Beauty it's a very um kind of popular brand um and there's two different liners so you've got like a liquid liner then you've got a pencil liner so I think I'm going to go in with a liquid liner today to give it a look I had a quick look at the brush but it's nice and just nice and straight so let's see how this works without messing up my eye look uh, I might just do it on my lid as opposed to oh wow it's very liquidy <laughs> oh wow you have to be very careful because it very it kind of like bleeds out a bit Oh, wow. Very, very precision. A lot of precision needs to be taken because I'm not the sturdiest of person when it comes to doing eyeliner. Though I think not many people are, but it's picked up a lot of product. So, oh God. Let's just get a little bit more so we're not skimming out. Ooh, I'm so bad at eyeliner, oh my god. Especially on this eye, or this eye in general. Okay, that's the best I'm gonna, I'm gonna do <laughs> before I kind of pile more on and it looks worse. But so far this is looking pretty good. Um, the other side is basically just a little pen like that. I'll probably try that next time. Um, I'm not very good when it comes to like pencil liners because I will mess it up. But um, yeah, this is really nice. And the next product, um, <laughs> when I got it, I was a bit like, okay, it's part of the body shop set as well. But I never really realised until I opened it that it's actually red I just thought it was just like the packaging so when you open it it's got two sides it's got a fiber side which I think is there to kind of help the eyebrows just I sorry the eyelashes like lift up but then you'll see when I opened it I was like oh my god it's red so I'm gonna give it a go because why not um it's just a bit of fun so this side I'm gonna I'm not actually sure what this what these fibers will do. Um, oh my god, <laughs> that's probably not a good idea. Everything's just like falling out. I don't know what that is. I probably might. I probably should not use that. I'm very confused. Why? Is it, <laughs> why has got fire? I sh I'll look into it. It's a bit strange. Um, but I'm gonna go in with um, the other side. That's so strange because I've actually got 
bits of like fiber on my eye, eye <laughs> eyelash now um but let's let's give this a go lash hero fiber extension mascara i don't know why it's got bits of actual fiber on there but it looks strange i mean i've never used any um mascara that's like colored i've only used black um <laughs> don't know if you can really see it i'll try and put some on my lower lash line I mean it's separating my lashes quite well um you just probably can't see the color <laughs> um, separating my lashes quite nicely but it's not kind of catching on a lot if you can kind of see uh, I mean, it's not doing a whole load. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, I know next time not to put that fluff bit on my eyes without actually having to read what it is. But the last product I'm going in is with another um, body shop um, product and it is a lipstick. So it is a shine liquid lip in the shade Cherry Gum 04. And I think when I open the packaging, um, also I know Body Shop are a kind of ethical brand but their their packaging was in plastic and I'm not being funny but if you're trying to save the environment don't be um, putting your products in plastic it's not it's not very good um, but yeah this smells very nice this actually smells of bubblegum yeah reminds me of um, you know the ice cream when you have this the bottom you'd have a bubblegum at the bottom like screwballs basically Reminds me of that. My childhood could do with an ice cream. Oh, all right, here we go. It's quite thick consistency. <laughs> uh, this seems like it's more of a lip gloss as opposed to a liquid lipstick. Uh, Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a very um, weird consistency. Again, it smells super nice. Um, and yeah, the liner, yeah, the liquid, the, is this a lipstick? I don't know. It just says shine, shine lip liquid. I don't know. It's nice. I probably wouldn't wear it on a normal day because it's a bit, it's a bit sticky. It's a bit tacky. Um, but yeah, that is um, essentially a full face of like a mixture of makeup. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my lighting because I am going to be um, trying a different, you know, the different kind of settings. Let me see if I can try some for you guys now <laughs> to see what it looks like. I mean, that's the kind of yellow lighting. That is a couple of different ones. You probably won't be able to notice because I've still got some natural light. Um, I mean, it's not too bad, but I mean, I just have to fiddle around with the settings. But um, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that is really cool. If you don't mind doing it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you see you in the next one. Bye, guys.